So fellas, got something new today. Something new. We're gonna try something new, something never done. First time ever. So we gonna learn this together. So you guys see me make meatloaf? One of my favorite cooks, the meatloaf. And they always tell you, what's up, Miguel? Yeah, yay. What's up, brother? Happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday. Hey, so check it out, dude. You guys gonna like this one. You gonna like this one. This is something I've never done before. We're gonna try it out. We can see how it goes. Hey, wish me luck. You know me. We're gonna John Wayne do it for the first time. I'll tell you what's in it in a minute. I'm using a 14 Jumbo Joe. What's up, Chuck? What's up, PJ? What's up, Nick? So I'm using, oh, who's on there, who's on there? Ah, I missed him. There we go. What's up, John? So check this out. So we're gonna do something new. Not new, I've done it before, but we're gonna do something different. What's up, Cousin Julie? We're gonna do something a little bit different. So I always tell you guys, you can make your own flavors with San Maria. What we're gonna do is, I already got it mixed. I got cilantro, egg, jalapeno, a bunch of different seasonings. At the end, when we're all said and done, I'm gonna put freaking cheese on it. This one, I'm using the lid. I'll show you guys how to use the lid. For you guys who haven't seen me use the lid. You get it? Make yourself your football. Make it shape like a meatloaf. Oh, with onion in here, everything, brother. Everything. Who's in there? Who's in there? But you remember, pack it good. You gotta pack it real good, or it'll fall apart on you. Remember, the first thing on this. What's up, Raul? What's up, Raul? The first thing is the flip. The first flip is always the killer. Once you get the first two flips to both sides, it makes like a crust, and you're golden. But how's that? You're gonna like this, dude. This is the best way you can ever make a meatloaf. There is no better way to make a meatloaf than this, dude. Look how, look how big this thing is. <laughs> yeah, I will use the measurement because I got a big head. <laughs> the best way to explain what I'm doing and how big it is, use my head. Let me go wash my hands real quick. Hold on, guys. What's up, Chuck? Got us good, brothers. Got us good. We got pastor in the house. Don't get me wrong, I'm just gonna do a close up. What's up, Jack? We got a big Jack in the house, don't get me wrong. I could probably do this on the 14, but I want this one because I want to use my, my 14 inch lid that I got with, with the, with the um, gauge on it. God is good, brothers. Don't forget, God is good right there. Don't get no better than that. Rolling smoke, baby, rolling smoke. So this is, this is a, a 14 inch that I got. Put a gauge on it, a little dirty. Got my gauge on it. <clears throat> and don't get me wrong, you can do it, you can do it without the, without the lid. You don't gotta do it with the lid, it's gonna take you longer. So we're gonna do it with the lid today. there and you can actually control what's up Tim you can actually control the temperature inside the lid by the height and the size of the flame you got 
if you're tall enough to see it. <laughs> I didn't think it all the way through. I can't see that that what temperature is. What's up, Rob from Texas, baby? We got Tim Walker, we got George, we got David on YouTube, we got Sherry Gordon. What's up, Sherry? Where my water go? Cheers, everybody. Cheers, huh? Hey, today, God gave me a day off. I tried to work. He said it was raining. Raining all day today. Now it's all stinky humid, but I woke up this morning. Like, I'm, I'm going to load my trailer. I'm going to load my trailer, do a dump run. My wife wants some stuff out of here. We have, we've been switching rooms, doing doing makeover in the house and stuff, and uh, got a lot of trash I get rid of. So got my son's new beds and stuff like that. And uh, so I was going to do a dump run this morning. So I get up. It's kind of, it's kind of, what's up, Jason Jones? It's kind of overcast, but yeah, it's always a morning like that. And I looked at the corner of my eye, I saw lightning. <laughs> lightning. Well, whatever. It's probably just messing around. Then all of a sudden, it started raining. I look at the thing, it says it's going to start raining about noontime. Nope, it rained all day today. So you know what that means? Anyway, still, I still did a dump run. What's up, Carlos? I still did a dump run, brother. Look at that right there. God is good, brothers. Here's some good music. Love you too, brother. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Hey, just so you guys know, I'm feeling better today. I'm feeling a little better today. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know what it is. I just feel better today. So maybe because I hang out with you guys. I don't know. But my anxiety is not so bad. I'm feeling all right. Carlos and Salinas, that's right, baby, that's right. But uh, my buddy, my buddy wants to go to Salinas tomorrow, go fishing. Or some, or he said, Marcelia or Salinas? Oh, he said, he wants to go fishing. But yeah, dude, we, we, my son, me, my son, we still did the, we still did the dump run, all muddy. Lucky my truck. What's up, Joe Laplante? What's up, Leo? Hey, that's why I went live this morning. Like, man, screw it. I'm gonna get another cup of coffee. And we're gonna chill, you know what I mean? Just do another cup of coffee. We're just chill, hang out. Hey, I got those new weather tech um, floor mats for my truck. Cause when I was getting doing a boat, a water was getting in my truck big time when I was freaking jumping in and out in the water. I didn't like it. At the baseball game, fans are looking at me. <laughs> hey, who's watching the game, brother? Hey, Jack, you gotta watch this cook. This cook right here. What's up, Leo? This cook right here is the king of all cooks. A lot of people don't know that you can make a freaking meatloaf on a barbecue, let alone a Santa Maria barbecue. This cook is king right here. The flavor is unlimited to what you can make it taste like. So today I decided to do like a Mexican style where I have chopped up jalapeno. And remember guys, if you're gonna feed your whole family, not everybody likes hot, so to still get the flavor of the jalapeno, cut the, the stem off, cut it down the middle, scrape all the seeds, and take that middle vein out. You take that middle vein out. What's up, Lester? What's up, money? Take all, take a, hey, take all the, the the vein out and the seeds. Then you can cut it up like little squares, and uh, it won't be hot. It'll just have the flavor of the jalapeno. Me, I throw a whole freaking thing in there and just grind it up, but I get in trouble for that. Like it's hot. So, can't do it. But that's it. And the, the key is, it's almost like smoking. If you're looking, you ain't cooking, brothers. So, you have to wait to see it again. Wait, hey. Hey, we got to cross our fingers on the first flip. Because the first flip is hardest. So, it's kind of cool. Because I had a lot of new guys today hitting me up. Older guys only do YouTube. So, if you guys are watching my video, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you guys. I'm Junior Castro. I do Gabby's Grills, Old Rocket Parts, hang out, chill, make really, really long videos. <laughs> I always say that because I've had people complain that my videos are too long. But hey, who knows how to edit a video? <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that right, brother? Hey, I'm glad you see I'm glad, brother. Hey, I love when I hear people say, man, I use it for the first time. I use it for this. I use it for that. It's the best I've ever had. See, that means a lot. That means a lot to me. You know what? Like I always tell people, I didn't invent Santa Maria. I didn't invent Argentina or, or Asado, whatever you want to call it. I didn't invent it. 
All I did was figure out a way to give it to everybody. Everybody has a Weber, you know what I mean? I gave it to the world, and I'm having fun doing it. And uh, actually, I didn't do anything. I, I, I need to watch what I'm saying. God did it. I prayed for help, and God told me to make barbecues. I didn't understand it at first, but I understand it now. You know what I mean? I didn't understand it. I didn't understand why. I thought it was crazy. I thought it was a cool idea. Don't get me wrong, I made it. But hey, you don't, you don't come up with ideas like that on your own. People need to remember, when you get an idea like that, God gave you that idea. It's how you use it, you know what I mean? What's up, Matt? What's up, Dave? What's up, Jesse? Yeah, yay. I'm just happy to share it with everybody, man. I'm happy. I'm happy, you know what I mean? I, I feel good about it. I'm able to support my family. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get my son the business. He's he's doing good. He works hard. To, hey, it, it's been slowing down a little bit, but man, the last two months when COVID hit, we were selling ten barbecues a day. That's over like we're at least selling forty barbecues a week. So, and sometimes more. It was we were we were really hurting, dude. But hey, we want to let nobody down, and that's we want to thank you guys that we appreciate it. You know what I mean? But uh, God is good, brothers. God is good. You can always look at the bottom, see if it's burning. <laughs> What's up, Miguel? Got it. Hey, all day long, brother. All day. Don't forget the God is good sign. Put God is good somewhere around your barbecue. It makes your food taste better. <laughs> Where did I tell the temperature of it? I can't see it. I'm not tall enough. <laughs> Shoot, I'm not. Hey, the only is down here. I'm not tall enough to see it. It looks like it's at 300. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I shit you not, though, brother. You can control the temperature by raising up and down. Hey, hey, Julie, tell how how tall the captures are. I'm hey, in my family, I'm tall, brothers. <laughs> I'm five seven. We hey, I'm, I'm tall in my family. You five seven in my family, you a giant. Someone always got to call and hang out with us. Huh? But check it out. That, that, that was true. My, mom, my mom's doing good, Julie. She's doing good. About as good as she can be doing, you know what I mean? But I'll call them back. I'll call them back. You need to buy some stencil paint on the, on the grill. Hey, don't put no paint on the grill, brother. Don't put no paint on the grate. You can put paint anywhere else, nothing on the grate. Hey, hey, Rob, that's what it's all about, brother. Friends hanging out. No, Roxy. Go in there. My dog is wet. She's feet everywhere. Hey, that's what it's all about. Hanging out, chilling. Just like, wait, just like we're all together. What's up, Sean? Hanging out, barbecuing, learning people's ideas, chilling. 5'3? Hey, that's right, buddy. You ain't seen how the temperature is either. <laughs> Julie, 5'7 and, and use a giant. <laughs> Me and my brothers are all 5'7". We're all exactly the same. Bam, bam, bam. We, there's not one of us talking to We're like dead nuts the same. All of us. I think my mom's taller than my dad a little bit. Hey. I'm telling you, brother, I love it, dude. I love hanging out chilling. If not, I'm just a crazy guy here talking to myself like always. <laughs> hey, don't get me wrong. Hey, when, when I'm not going live, I'm still talking. <laughs> I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> you hear me when I yell at myself when I make a mistake? No, oh, man, I, I never myself never hears the end of it. I hate making a mistake, brother. I hate making a mistake. If I make a mistake, dude, guys, me forget my mind. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, play some good music. Hey, bluegrass is a universal music. Everybody should. Everybody should be able to listen to, if you listen to the words, you should be able to relate to it. I don't care where you're from, what you're about, what you do. You should, everybody should be able to relate to it. It all, it all can pertain to you in some kind of way. What's up, Dean? Brotherhood is alive and well, brother. Right there. Yay, yay. Brotherhood, baby. All, all, hey, all the barbecue, cha all the chapters out there. Barbecue champions, Texas, Rolling Smoke. Everybody, brothers. Well, all you, everybody's welcome to hang out. Everybody, come and chill. It's all good, brothers. 
There's a one called Pinche Barbecue Group. All of them, man. Hey, I'm a part of all of them, dude. There's a new, a new one I got part of, 805 Santa Maria style of cooking. What's up, guys? If you guys see what's up, I didn't even know they existed. Like, they're pretty big. I mean, I'm right here. I didn't even know it. But yeah, dude. Got my day out today. I'm gonna eat some good. I'm gonna eat good right now. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna eat good right now. <laughs> All right, brother. Hey, check out. Hey, I might do. I might do. I might cut out early so I can do a short video of this of this cookie. But I might and take a picture of it when I cut it. And it's just all coming out. All the goodness is pouring out like a waterfall. <laughs> What's up, Pepe? Why are they on me? You guys, you guys will like it, dude. You guys will like it. Look at that. Look at the color ready. Look at that, brother. Look at that. I want to show you guys that. At the end, I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put some. Uh, Cheese on top. Cheese on the top. Let's see. Dude, it was at 450. I think it was at 450. That's what you want. 450. Like an oven, baking. Throw that open flame cook. Go stick at a time. Relax, chill. Get a chair, hang out. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I'm scared to flip the first flip. I'm scared to do the first one. Everything's good, brother. Everything's good. All my family, we're good. Hope your family's good, dude. Hope you guys are safe. And then, uh, remember, brother, Santa, hey, get over here. Remember, the COVID thing is real, dude. I don't know. I'm scared. I went to DMV today. There was a line all the way around outside. I thought I'm going to go up his range today. I should be able to, I should be get right in there. Man, it was so long, I couldn't believe it. I'm trying to register the Jeep. I couldn't get in there, couldn't get in there. So I was like, eh, I'm just gonna go home. You know, my wife, she always gets off late work. I'm always trying to make dinner for her on time. So, so when she gets home, her food's ready. Try to have the dishes washed, everything. Never make it. Either I make it, the food's ready. She, she says she won't be home yet. So I'm like, man, I always try to make it. Today she texts me, I'm hungry. I'll be home right in a little bit. Like, and I'm barely lighting the fire. I'm like, and I'm making meatloaf. So me, those gonna take a long time. I'm like, if I had hair, I'd pull it out. <laughs> Our baby works hard, dude. She runs. She has to run a. She runs two clinics right now. She's been doing it for a long time already. I wish. I wish they would hurry up and hire someone from the other site so she can stop doing both clinics. She's driving back and forth. She works hard, dude. My wife works hard. So I try to make it some something so when she gets home, she can just eat. I can never time it right, dude. Something always comes up to where she, she can't make it. Or she can make it, but she can't make it at a time when I have it ready for her. But I try. I try my best. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. Then I get upset about it, so I gotta just relax. Just relax, relax, relax. <laughs> What's up, Bill? What's up, brother? All you guys new to the two right here? This is what it's all about right there, bro. Bam, we back. <laughs> Hey, that's pretty good because I can never figure out shit. <laughs> figure it out. All right, who's going to come over here and flip this? Ah, the first flip. It's always the first flip that's hard, dude. I don't want it to fall apart. It's so big. Let's let it cook, let's let it cook a little bit longer. Let's let it get a little bit. Let's cook a little bit longer before we flip it. It's always that first flip that scares me. I ain't going to lie. Look a little bit longer, just a little bit. Just hang out for a little bit longer, do a flip. Let's see. Get my baby time. Bring my sunglasses on, I can't see. Hey, Mondo, it rained up there. It rained big time over here, brother. It rained all day long. Look my baby. Bring my meat low. Use all that up. Thing good, the formats. My truck's full of mud. Cheers, everybody. No rain, just humid. 
Do right now is humid, but it's, it's sprinkling right now too. We got D. You can't see the carne. I got it out of A. If you're, when you're doing a meat, little brother, and you got a lid, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. You gotta wait. You gotta wait so I can flip it. I'm scared. I'm scared. I never been with this big. Because now I have more people eating in my house. My daughter's here and my son's here, so I had to make more food. And it's hard to. What's up, Jesse? It's hard to, to judge how much it makes. So, like, before I get away with one pack of meat, now I need two pack of meat. So, I never flipped it that before. But I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it, brothers. But really, so you guys know, there's a little gauge right there, and you can read the gauge, know what the temperature is, but I'm too short and I can't see it. But I wanted to use the 14 inch lid. Me look on the grill, Sal. Hey, it don't get no better than that, brother. Hey, I'm gonna tell you what it got in there. It got coarse ground beef, um, chopped up jalapeno, onion, egg, and a whole bunch of different seasoning. That's whatever I can just think of. Now remember, guys, if you make if you're gonna use jalapeno and cilantro, cilantro's in there. When you cut it, cut the stem off, cut it in half. And take the seeds out in the vein. If not, it's going to be hot. So I did all that so my kids will eat it. If I don't do that, they won't eat it. So we're just making food for nothing. What's up, Steve? Yeah, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Come over and do it. Come over and do it, Rob. I'm telling you, the first the first flip is always a... Sometimes, sometimes I'll leave it on one side so long, I'll burn it. And I, it's like, I don't want to burn it. But hey, but I got the big spatula, but I got the big spatula. It's hot too. I move by the fire. Hey, dude, ain't nothing better than a barbecue tri tip or barbecue uh, meatloaf. Nothing better than it. Nothing beats it. It's my, it's one of my favorite cooks, dude. It's probably like, I think it's my favorite. Meatloaf's my favorite. Because you can manipulate it. So, dude, you throw some different, and then I'm going to put cheese on top. Watch. I'm going to coat it off with cheese on top. Just put the cheese and put the lid back on. Let it melt the cheese and then serve it like that. Make mashed potatoes, whatever you want to make with it. Yeah, dude. How many pounds? Like, like about, about as big as my head. I don't know. I didn't. I forgot to read it. So you know, it comes in the squares. There's two squares in a pack. It's the whole pack. So that's about how much it is. <laughs> Yeah, you got it, brother. It'll be too hot. Me, sometimes I'll just get it and just throw them in there and grind it. Yeah, we need to get the bug done. We, hey, I've been teaching her to drive a stick. We went driving in the Jeep the other day, and that little girl, that little girl drives the Jeep, dude. All day she struggled with, she struggled with first gear. She couldn't get first gear for nothing. I'm scared she's going to ruin the, she's gonna ruin the uh, clutch. And the guy said he just put the clutch in, and I don't feel like changing the clutch on that. The clutch is easy doing the bug, not on the thing. But I've got the bug inside there. It was raining today. I got to get back. She's, I think, you know what? She started school too. They're doing all that online stuff. So she got that too. And her, all her schools are those AP classes. So they're all the hard classes, dude. So let's see. Look at that. Look at that. And remember, guys, when you guys make these, always use 70%. Don't use 85, 90. They'll be dry out. There it is, bud. First flip. Yeah. Gino, big old giant burger. Look at that, look at that. Let's see, hold on. K, 
can't see. I'm trying to put the freaking, uh, I'm gonna burn my hairs off. There, you guys see it? You guys see it? <laughs> or if, hey, hey, that's a big, hey, that's a big meatloaf right there, brothers. Dude, the barrel house is, the, is my favorite. But before COVID hit, the barrel house is the best. There ain't nothing better. You see the flip? You see it? There you go. The key to the first flip is don't flip it too soon. I got it just right, dude. I got it just right. It's scary. Hey, it's scary every time. <laughs> you ever see me come in and flipping the meat? Stand back. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Hey. I ain't said it once, I said it twice or a thousand times. God is good, brother. You know what's cool? I think we got two pastors watching. We got Gino. You guys don't know, Gino's a pastor. We got Chuck. Chuck's, Chuck's a pastor. I saw him talking about right there, dude. We need to get more pastors out there. Hey, they got a, they got a, uh, they got a real hard job right now. If you, if you really look at what they got to, what they got to face, all the obstacles and stuff that they got to get through, all the, it's crazy, dude. Me? I just go live and say what I want to say. And if you guys don't, what's up, Daniel? If people don't like it, they just turn it off. You know what I mean? I don't got to deal with nothing. You know what I mean? There's no, I'm not, there's no, no, no politics involved. I do whatever I want to do. But when you're a pastor, you got to deal with a lot of stuff. You got to, you got, you got people who, who depend on you. You know what I mean? People don't think about people don't think about what they what what a pastor has put on them. You know what I mean? And plus, they gotta do it right, or they get in trouble from the man upstairs. If I can, if I do it wrong, I'll be like, ah, oh, I'm just drinking too much. I'm saying, <laughs> God is good, brothers. God is good. Don't get no better than that, brothers, huh? Hey, when you get the first flip, you know God is good. Yeah, dude, you just chill, hang out. That's it. Just make the meatloaf, let it chill. So the way I chill if it's done, I just hit it. When it, when it gets nice and tight, I know it's done. You don't want it to where it's too flimsy, too loose, because it takes a long time to cook in the middle, and, and you need to cook it all the way through. The cool thing about Santa Maria is I'll cook that thing all the way to the middle. It'll, it won't be pink in the middle, and it'll still be juicy. It'll still have its juices. But that's another reason why I tell you guys, you got to use 70%. 90, 85, and 90%, whatever it comes on the beef, it's, they take all the fat out. And the fat is the flavor. And remember, if people like, all oh, for health reasons, it's, it's coming out. It's falling out. It's falling out in the fire. So don't worry about the, uh, if it's unhealthy. Those are barbecuing. Who cares if it's unhealthy? <laughs> this way. <laughs> All right, Mondo. Hey, if you go to the bear house, you better hit me up, brother. You better hit me up. Right now, I'm kicking back my drinking, but I'll still hang out. What's up, Biz? So, so what I got in the meat is uh, I got cilantro, chopped up jalapeno, chopped up onion, and just a bunch of different seasoning. A couple of crack, a couple eggs in there. I use eggs as a binder. Eggs helps keep it together. Binder. You don't taste it. You don't even taste it. More of a binder. But uh. What also works good as a binder, you can use a, uh, you can mix bacon in the, in, the, in the ground beef, and that's killer, dude. You do bacon in ground beef, in a meatloaf, or you do sausage, that, that's killer right there, brother. That's killer. You guys will love that. That's king right there. I thought, you know what? I'll put it this way, some jalapeno, some cilantro, onion, give it like a, like a meatloaf with a Mexican twist. You know what I mean? So, you can call it what you want to call it, you know what I mean? Dude, you put, I put veggies in it before. I put veggies in there. Corn, green beans, whatever you want. You can mix it all. Kids won't eat green beans. Mix it in and they'll eat it. You know what I mean? Tastes good that way. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. So this is going to be a long cook, so I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to let you guys go. just want to say God gave me a day off. I want to spend it with you guys. Say what's up. And, uh. I got the bottom, the juice.
the juice don't come pouring out the bottom? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Let's let me read it again. Question, how come the juice don't come pouring out the bottom? Mm -hmm. I don't know why it comes out on, on, on the barbecue, but on this, see, look it. See, you see it? Listen, listen. Hear it? Hear the juice? It burns and goes back into the food. But it drips a little bit, I guess. No, that's just, that's just sawdust or uh, ashes. Hear it? Is hear it? That's, that's, that's where Santa Maria kills right there, dude. That's where, that's where it, it, it's, it's king right there. So what it does is it puts it back into the meat. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Hope I answered your question, Dean. I apologize. I'm going to get out of here. But like always, you guys are awesome, brother. I love you guys. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for hanging out. I'm going to do a short video, so I'm going to post up. What's up, Jason the Fun? I'm going to post a little video. That way everybody can see it, how it came out. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to probably make some mashed potatoes, some other stuff. Well, I'm a, so I'm going to do all that while, the, while it's finished cooking. And then I'll do the short video, and then I'll do, I'll do a video of it cutting. I'm going to do a video when, when it has, I call it uh, the waterfalls. When I cut it down the center, juice is pouring down like that. It's, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's cool. You got to see it. But uh, if you guys have watched my videos before, you've probably already seen it. But to all you new guys, you're going to love it, brother. You're going to love it. All you YouTubers, if you want to see it, you got to go on my Facebook on Gabby's Grills, and you will post it there. Maybe I'll post it on, uh, on Instagram. Anyway, guys, have a good Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. And uh, yeah, yay, Gabby's Grills. God is good. God bless you guys, huh? Be safe, be safe, and be safe. And remember, brothers, God is good. Love all you guys, man. You guys are awesome. Be safe out there, huh? Remember that COVID stuff is real? Pray. Hey, we didn't get through this. We have to pray more. Only one going to help us is God, dude. So, yeah, yay. Gabby's Grills. God bless. Be safe. And uh, cheers, huh? Cheers, brother. Yeah, yay, biz. Cheers. You guys have a good night. Late. God bless everybody.